Hey, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it once again, bringing you another action figure review. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Eternals wave, set, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm, I'm late on these. I got these back when they first came out. Um, I mean, I know that right now they're peg warmers everywhere. Um, but no, I actually got these when it first came out, when they first came out. And, uh, and it wasn't so much that I got them because I absolutely had to have them. It's just that at the time, <laughs> as far as Marvel Legends goes, they were the only thing really available that I didn't already have. So I picked them all up. Um, now, the movie itself, I don't... That's got to be why these things are peg warmers, because it really didn't do that great. It wasn't even really that great of a movie, to be honest. Um, it just kind of like felt like a fill-in movie, I guess. Um, and, and, and part of that might be my fault, because of the expectations I had for this movie going in to see it. Uh, and that's because I was kind of treating it like the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, the way that one was. Uh, when we first saw trailers for it, and it was announced and everything, you know, a lot of people really didn't know a whole lot about Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, and as big a fan as I am of Marvel Comics, I mean, I knew of them, but barely. Um, I knew who Star-Lord was, Drax, but Drax not really from the Guardians, but from, like, Silver Surfer. Uh, you know, stuff like that. But... That movie kind of blew our expectations. We weren't... I feel like a lot of people, when they went to go see that movie, they just kind of were expecting a, a fill-in movie or something. And, and it was probably one of the best, arguably one of the best MCU movies, you know, especially as far as, like, humorous goes. Um, and that's just kind of the way I treated this movie going into it. I had that expectation. Like... <coughs> It was going to be kind of like something that, you know, we don't really know about, but we're going to go and see it, and it's going to blow our minds, and we're just going to love it. It didn't work that way for me, so. Anyways, as far as the figures go, the toys go, they look really good. Um, and actually quite accurate to the movie, mostly. Um, I haven't really gone back and looked at it too hardcore. Um, but, you know, often when they do movie figures, they're just done from, you know, just kind of like promo, uh, just, just shots. They don't get to see full stuff of the movies. They're just getting like promo shots to go off of. And, uh, but here it seems like they must have gotten more than that. I don't know because these are actually really good. They look good. But they are a pain in the ass. <laughs> as far as articulation goes on them, a lot of they're just really hard to pose. Stiff joints. Um, some of them with their skirt pieces, you, you can't get a leg stance on them to save your life. So there's a lot of issues with them. But overall, they look pretty damn good. Um, and I'm going to have to have a little bit of help with naming all of them because I don't remember all their names. But... I don't know. We'll just kind of go through and take a look at these all individually. Um, there was a couple exclusives, I know. Um, I believe this one was exclusive. Uh, and what I mean exclusive, not in the actual Build-A-Figure wave itself. But I believe she was exclusive, she was exclusive, and he was exclusive. Uh, and that might actually be it. The rest of them, I believe, was part of the wave. Um... So, anyways, let's get down to it. We'll go ahead and start talking about these. Um, I don't really need this for the first one because it's easy. How can you forget Sprite? <laughs> but yeah, um, the one right here in the middle, front here is Sprite. The youngest, um, but I guess just as old as the rest of them. Um, it's, it has something to do with her creating, creation, or creator, to keep her kind of like as a kid. 
I don't know. Either. <laughs> I I haven't. I've only watched that movie once, and that was in theaters. And even though I bought it when it came to DVD, um, I'm pretty sure I did. Or has it even been out? Maybe I'm thinking of Shang Chi, because I don't know if Eternals is. I don't know. But even when it was on Disney, I didn't Disney Plus. I didn't rewatch it, so <laughs> I can't remember every single character and, and, and what their background is and their story is, but I can't even tell you what Sprite's powers are right now. I don't remember. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> you just have to watch the movie. Um, like I said, these look good. Uh, the head sculpts are pretty good. Um, the designs, the paint... I mean, the, they, they definitely put their money into these MCU figures, and there's very little reuse across the board on these things. I mean, I don't know how many other people they could use this buck for, but I'm sure, I, I kind of, I hope they find something, because we this is actually a really good teen or young body mold right here. Um, and because of the way it's designed, even though she's a girl, there's no feminine attributes really to it i don't even think really in the legs so i i really think that this could probably be used also for a boy you know i think anyways <laughs> i don't know that, i'm sure that could be argued too because everything can be argued on here um but yeah like uh, the, the articulation with a lot of these and the ankles ain't too bad on her they move pretty good. They're not stiff, and they don't have them detents in the wrong spots. But uh, often there's issues up here with the, this is really tight in the thigh, and it gets loose up here. Um, this one is kind of loose in the thigh, tight up here. Uh, it's just every figure is going to be different. There's going to be some kind of issue with it. Um, could be loose right there. This one's really not. But yeah, that's. She's not the worst one, but there's still just kind of issues trying to manipulate and twist the legs and stuff just right to be able to get them to stand. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just have issues with them. They bug me. But like I said, I mean, they look good, so... And there's a and there's quite a few of them. So I mean, to to get all in one set, such a huge cast from one film. I mean, this is the first time they've ever done that. I mean, they they seem like they treated us with this idea that this was going to be the best movie or something because it had so much hype and detail to it. Like like I said, I, I, there's never been a, a, an instance I don't think in Marvel Legend history where there's been such a huge wave and such an expansive amount of characters released in one setting. So it's kind of cool there, too. So it really will fill out your uh, MCU shelf, you know, and give you a nice little cast to work with. I'm going to go ahead and move her. Let's just put her back here. Uh, the next one I'll go ahead and do... Yeah, I'm going to need my guide here. <laughs> Um, Makari, Makari, I guess is her name, Makari. <laughs> she's the speedster. I do remember that. She's fast and she's strong. So this is pretty neat. I do like her. She looks good. And I don't, I can't remember if I have any real complaints about this one. Um... Just have to go through and see. <laughs> she does have some tight knees. <sighs> they just need to be worked a little bit, I guess. And I don't have all the accessories because they did come with multiple hands and stuff, and you know, there was a lot to it, but overall. I just had the figures here just to basically kind of do something and I don't really want this to linger on super long either because you know, we got a lot of figures to talk about here. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just want to give you guys a good look at them. 
Because honestly, I mean, they do look really good. And if you've been to your Targets or Walmarts and you've seen these things on the shelf, I don't remember if these were available only at Target. No, they're at Walmart too. But, I mean, if you get a good look at them, pick one off the peg and kind of look at them. I mean, they do look good. They might entice you to buy them because, like I said, as far as display pieces go, I think these are pretty damn good. So that was that. Like I, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about each individual character. Um, but I'll go with, uh, what is it, Cersei? Here in the green, Cersei. Nice. Love that green, that metallic green. It's really a good looking color there. It looks sweet as hell on a car. So yeah, she looks pretty good too. I mean, and of course they're doing wonderfully. I mean, just above and beyond expectations when it comes to this facial printing technology they've got. You know, they're just doing really good likenesses of each person. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I really can't go over all the articulation on these. Just know across the board with these things, there's going to be some issues and inconsistencies. And <sighs> yeah. Well, let's go with uh, Ajax here. Got Ajax. Samuel Hayek. Now she had two different head sculpts. I remember that she had the uh, headdress head sculpt, which was looks really good. But I like this one better. This is more of a Samuel Hayek in a really pretty dress. But yeah, you see how she already just trying to just trying to move her is going to mess up her stance because she's just fucking traffic cone in that damn skirt. You know, it's definitely, this is one of those that suffers from that, and it's very aggravating. And the ankles, and, you know, it's, it's, the thighs move too easily outwards. I don't know, this thing is a pain in the ass. It really is. And it's loose up here on top, and plus, you can't. When you're trying, you got to be careful how you hold it because you're pulling on this, which pulls on her torso. Um, yeah, the, these some of these can really be a nightmare trying to pose, and they will aggravate you badly. So, <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. I mean, other than just kind of breathe and don't wig out, but... So that's Ajax. All right, <laughs> moving on. Let's go ahead and talk about Kingo here. I don't remember who he was played by. Um, this is Kingo. He has that same problem here because of this. And they just should have used a softer, more pliable material than this. I mean, it is a pliable material but it's just too stiff and when it rides right on their thighs right there like that and that's where the most tightness is of it they got to do something about that man because you can't get this guy you can see it can be forced out but i mean it's not going to stay But even he isn't necessarily one of the worst ones. But, yeah, here you go again with that. That's a good example of those ankle detents right there is where where they stop. Like, this is locked into place here. Okay, well, it actually went flush that time. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Freaking Kingo. Kingo. Was his name? Oh. All right, let's move on. What do we got here? We have. We'll talk about Fastos. 
We'll do Fastos next. Let's, that'd be this guy here, Fastos. Don't remember a whole lot about his character much either. But as you can see, we have some issues. We're loose up there, and it's traffic coned already as it is. So, these, I'm telling you, man, these things, like I said, they look good, but they are not fun action figures by any means. Not fun at all. We'll still call them action figures to a certain extent. They do have articulation, but they are not fun. There's nothing fun about these figures. I can't even imagine trying to do any photography with these things because you'd spend a day just trying to get one of them posed. You know, and, it, and, it, and you're lucky if it'll stay. And I'm not into photography or anything like that, but I just, like I said, I couldn't even imagine that kind of a nightmare. Yeah, Kingo. Or not Kingo, but Fastos. Fastos. <laughs> That's the name, Fastos. All right, let's get him back over here. And we'll talk about. Let's go with Druig. We've got Druig here. Um, one of my favorite characters from the movie, honestly, I did. I liked his attitude because, like, you know, he was he was arrogant. He kind of thought he was going to turn into a, the villain and stuff, maybe, of the movie or a big part of that. And he actually, you know, proved to still be a the hero and the good guy at the end of the day. So, pretty good performance by him. I don't remember his name either. Huh. Barry uh, Keoghan? Keoghan? I guess. And yeah, again, we got one of those instances where the likeness of the actor is there. It's pretty good. Uh-huh. Druig. Now he got he's definitely traffic cone, but I mean he's not that's it. He's gonna stand there. That's it. That's how most of these are gonna be. They're just gonna stand there. You are not getting too many dynamic poses with these figures. Um I'll go ahead and talk about Gilgamesh here. Gilgamesh was the build a figure here which was kind of really a crappy build-a-figure because I, it's whatever. It is, seriously, it's whatever, man. You know? <laughs> it's almost like they didn't really, they really didn't even have to do a build-a-figure with this wave. They could have just put them all in single boxes and if, <laughs> if you wanted them, get them. If not, fucking leave them on the peg, I guess. But that sucks because, you know, that's a lot of, their hard-earned dollars, you know, whatever whatever money they put into these sculpts and everything and being so unique, and they did so many, and it sucks seeing that they, they're they losing money. Um, you know, at the box office, probably, the figures, you know, the memorabilia, the merchandise. I actually happen to be wearing Eternal shirt tonight, so that was no accident. So yeah, there's there's Gilgamesh. Don Lee. It's Gilgamesh. Alright, so uh, what's her name? Thena by Angelina Jolie. This is also a good looking character right here. A very good looking figure. Uh, head portrait looks exactly like Angelina, in my opinion. Very, very nice. It really does look a lot like her, man. But yeah, with her golden dress. And pearlescent, whitish. Yeah, she looks good. Athena. And yeah, not a whole lot of complaints with her, you know. Um, she had a nice assortment of weapons and stuff. Because like I said, she would have been one of the 
uh, exclusives, single packed, not actually part of the build a figure wave. Yeah, I like it. I do like this one. Okay, so we still need to talk about, there's two of them still here. We have, the next one would be Icarus. Like the Superman of the Eternals here. And might be my favorite one of all of the whole because he's the best in the design, I guess, and the easiest to, to maneuver. But really weird proportions on this guy. Like he just has, looks like gigantic feet and big ass fist. That just seems completely out of proportion for this guy. But I do like the ultimate head sculpt with the kind of like flared up eyes, you know, like he's you know, heat ray vision like Superman and shit. But yeah, another nice design here on the suit. Paint. There's no paint really on well, there is a little bit of paint on the back. But just up on the top over their shoulders and stuff, but otherwise a little bit of line work there. Um, and, and another good representation of, I'm not even going to fix that. I don't care at this point. We're almost done. Screw that shit. But a good represent, um, yeah, good looking head sculpt. Looks like the character, the, the, what's his name? Richard Madden from Game of Thrones. So, yeah. Anyways, getting, moving on here. didn't take much to get these guys to fall. I do. I, I, I am eager, though, to eventually get these guys put on my shelf for my big MCU display. But here's the one actual villain, is uh, which was a deluxe crow here. Deviant or something like that was what they were called. I don't know. This is the one that just really kind of formed into a, a humanoid type. And, uh, which is actually, it's really pretty, man. It's got a lot of color on it, you know. And it's kind of got that, like, chameleon paint job on it. And really good head sculpt on there, too. It's This is really nice. And it, I think this will look great in the, uh, you know, also the MCU villain shelves. You know, next to some of your, like, cosmic beings or something. Um, pretty nice. Pretty nice. So, yeah, like I said, I mean, I, I'm probably going to have to give this movie another watch and just kind of, like, just watch it as a movie and not have any real expectations to it and the whole comic tour sort of ideal. Just to see what I think of it as just a regular movie. And, but otherwise, I mean, yeah, so as far as the action figures go, though, this is not bad. This is a nice chunk of figures here that we got. And just for the fun of it, I'll pull out an MCU Iron Man so you can just kind of see, you know, him matched up to somebody like Kingo or something. Here, we'll pull Kingo back out. It's whatever, nothing special there, no particular reasons why I pulled these guys out, but, you know, this box that I have sitting here is my box full of my MCU good guys, so Iron Man just happened to be right there. I still really love this Iron Man, it's one of my favorites. So, yeah, this is badass. Anyways, enough of this. I got other stuff to talk about, so we'll uh, try to catch it in another video. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit here so you guys can kind of collectively see these. Closer, closer, and that's about as close as I'm going to get. So, yeah, they'll look nice on the shelf for sure. That's them all grouped up looking pretty good so they should be easy to get man if you guys are trying to find these seriously if you're trying to find them I don't see you know you might not be able to find them all in one store it's the same time but 
go to a couple stores, I'm sure you'll fill out the entire collection if you really wanted to. So, yeah, good luck with that, man. Um, that's probably going to wrap this up, though, man. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. Go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of all these figures, what you guys thought of the movie, and what you guys think of this review. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You'll catch all of my latest videos. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.